So I have to start my interview with the first question that the nation literally wants to know. What does Ori do? I'll tell you what I said in my first interview. So my boss as of today, when she interviewed me back then, said, Which you can't tell me who. I can't tell you who she is. And she said, so Ori, what do you do? Like, why are you here in my office? What do you do? What did you want to be growing up? Where do you see yourself in five years? And I said to her, you know, growing up, I always thought I wanted to be an aeronautical engineer. But what am I today? I'm a singer, a songwriter, a fashion designer, a creative director, a stylist, an executive assistant, a shopper, a buyer. Sometimes I'm a football player. I don't know. And I looked at her and I said, I was like, you know, I feel like life is about having dreams. If you inflate your dreams, if you really give them wings to fly, you have to seize every opportunity. And I said to her, I looked at her and I said, I'm the kind of person that if you ask me to paint something for your house, I'll paint the entire goddamn wall. Yeah. And I mic dropped. Your, the answer sounded like you're like a mixture of Kim K and Ayushman Khurana. So that's like put together. <laughs> TikTok that I plagiarized for my answer. And you got the job. And I got the job. And she looked at me and she said, wow, he's not going to make me a painting. He'll paint my entire bloody wall. You don't know her walls are like some 20, 30 feet high. And I got the job and I never looked. You can't tell us what exactly you do, but you do like a whole bunch. I do like a whole bunch of things. Like I said, I'm apparently a fashion stylist, a fashion designer, a buyer, a shopper, an art director, an art curator, a painter, a song singer, a songwriter. I do it all. So what's that other part of Ori's life that people don't know? Like who is he when he's not partying? I'm sleeping or I'm at work, I'm working. I'm working very hard. So you're like a, like a proper 9 to 5 boy? No, I meant I'm working like on myself. Okay. Like I'm going to the gym, I go to anti-gravity, I go to the CCI gym, I'm doing a lot of self-reflection. Sometimes I'll do yoga, I'll get a massage. There's a lot of, <laughs> you know, I'm working, but on myself. Okay, I want to know one more thing about you is that um, how do you end up knowing so many industry people? Like literally Bollywood, Hollywood, all, all of them, socialites, I see you hanging out with them. You were, at, you were at the Kanye show where there was Anna Wintour, the controversial Kanye show. Um, how do you land up everywhere and what's the story behind that? When it comes to industry people, I get this question a lot, like the film industry. I'm not, I wouldn't really say I'm friends with anyone in the film industry. The people I'm friends with are actually my peers. They're all my age. We all went to school at similar times. We all went to college at similar times. I'm someone who likes holding on to my friendships. I take friendships very seriously. It's just that you highlight Bollywood people because they're more familiar faces. But if you really watch all my stories, I'm storing everyone. Yeah. There is no differentiation between an actor or a lawyer or a doctor or anyone in my stories. I give everyone the attention and everyone gets the spotlight on Ori's story. I have very few people that I consider industry, industry friends that I met only in industry and that's like maybe Bhumi Pednikar because we didn't go to school together. We didn't know each other more than a couple years ago but we're very good friends. I'm really close to our younger sister as well. So Hollywood people are not the easiest to be friends because they don't care to meet random people. I met Kanye backstage at the Burberry show. He just happened to like what I was wearing. The most what were you wearing? Thick boy outfit. You'll have to go. It's like an orange Burberry show with a matching hat. And he's like, I like your hat. And I was like, oh, thank you. And I look up and it's Kanye West. And I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> like, really thank you. Then we walked for a few minutes. I became a little friendly with his assistant. Somehow managed to get invited to a show in Paris. But they are all very friendly people. They do give you like a good 30 seconds of attention. And in that 30 seconds, if you manage to make an elevator pitch, you can get a picture with them. <laughs> and that's about it. And my last question um, is your whole fashion side. When did you realize that you are a fashion person and not a fashion industry person? And what are some of the brands that you absolutely love and like kind of want to endorse? I went to Parsons, which is the number one school for fashion, but I didn't study fashion. I studied uh, no, design and technology and communication design also because I learned all the Adobe softwares it came hand in hand um, so it was a fashion school so keep in mind you're surrounded by all these fashion kids who are coming to school head to toe in fashion but they're not fashion people they're fashion students trying to become fashion employees I did design and tech which separated me from the rest of them kind of the more nerdy major and so I always, I grew up around it, style and boarding school everywhere, then fashion in college, so it was everywhere around me. Then when you start working, you start earning, you have the money to spend on what you want to spend. So you can get more experimental. Brands that I like, yeah. as of right now, I love Balenciaga. I know I shouldn't say that. I know I shouldn't say that, but I love the brand. Mm -hmm. I think they're, all their fashion shows, they're pushing boundaries, they're doing things that haven't been seen before, things that are really cool. 
it's a high end brand but it's also a street brand and i see you, you wear a lot of dior also i wear a lot of dior but they produce like nice things and the print is cool the colors are nice but i wouldn't say i love it as much as the balenciaga yeah i just love what balenciaga does with the shape of their sunglasses the shape of their clothes silk shirts that dior make they're really nice for like your for me for a normal thing but as a very ott person it doesn't really work like are you an ott person i would i mean look at this lunch i would consider this was this was like a 10 a 10 minute lunch that i've you know made this nonsense at but i would like to consider myself ott at the right times so yes you may see me at a fashion show really dressed up at a party really dressed up but last night i just wore a black t-shirt and black sweatpants and went out and i was like my friends book my best friends book so you know there are times where you have to be simple and if you're simple you have to be a canvas I mean, you can't be simple in like the like a normal simple outfit. You have to be blank. I cannot believe that there was a time in your life where you just wore that white, white, white. And I would tell myself, I'm a blank canvas, and any stain that comes on me is the nazar the universe has on me. And I would come home with no stain. So I was like, either it's really good that there's no nazar, or I'm really irrelevant and there's no nazar. So 